What's up? This is Dave. And today we're going to touch on the GeForce RTX 40 series video cards, which are the latest video cards that's come out for gaming desktops. And then eventually they're going to come out for laptops as well. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here. RTX 40 series beyond fast high performance in gaming and AI power graphics, which enhance everything ranging from video editing, software, microphones, all the way to the way gaming performs. So whether you're in any sort of graphical intense activity, this is boast boasting that it is going to be the best of the best for any of those things. It's saying up to 2x ray performance. I'm assuming it's talking about it's two times faster than the last series. Microsoft Flight Simulator, the hottest game in America right now. Compared to the 3090 Ti, which we thought was the bee's knees, the, 39, the 4090 is getting about double performance, assuming everything is on max for both of those. For Warhammer 4000 Dark's Tide, a game I didn't know existed until now, um, it, you're getting, again, uh, double, it looks like even a little more than double. Double and the little frosting tip on the side here when you have the 4090 over the 3090 Ti and then Cyberpunk is getting up to four times more speed which is a little crazy that game um, is humongous and there's a lot of lights cameras actions I thought the 3090 Ti was a beast they really uh, put all that COVID money into this project here it has the ray tracing feature RTX here's an example they have here this is Wow, yeah, this looks like night and day. I think this is probably like the best example they could possibly find to show the difference. I wonder if they have things on low here and then on things max here at plus RTX. The world will never know. Uh, powerful performance powered by AI. They use this technology called DLSS, which is allowing the game to boost performance with software and hardware. And this is where the AI comes in. I'm not sure how that all works. However, I do believe that AI is the future and software and hardware are going to be integrated very closely. You're going to see uh, robots walking around someday and I think this company is going to be behind it. For uh, If you're online, they're saying this is going to be the best competitive advantage. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're playing Fortnite, I don't even think this, this card would probably laugh at Fortnite. This card probably uses 1% of its power to play most online games like Fortnite, League of Legends. All of those little troll games that are free to pay and yet you spend thousands of dollars dressing up your dudes and unlocking the best dances. And then now we have NVIDIA Studio. They have all these uh, pow AI powered software enhancements for um, Windows and perhaps even for other operating systems. Uh, whether it comes to sound, whether it comes to uh, rendering, digital art, video editing, they boast that. You can use the hardware and software combination to be more productive, to have better results. As a matter of fact, I am using an NVIDIA video encoder right now. Uh, it looks so great. As you can see, I have AI-powered background here, AI-powered bed. The NVIDIA stuff here is really pushing forward. What are the options we have here for the 40 series? First, we have the 4080 series, which is actually coming out later, but I'm going to go over them first because the prices are the lowest. You have the RTX 4080, uh, 16 gigabytes starting at $1,200, and you have the RTX 4080, 12 gigabytes starting at $900. From what I can see here, let's take a look at the performance you're going to get the difference here for two, two to $300, $300 more. You're going to get a 5 to 20% boost in your performance when using the 4080 16 gigabyte versus the 4080 12 gigabyte. I don't think there's going to be much noticeable difference in uh, other editing programming, though. I think this is just really... One, I would suppose, is just the generalist. The 4080 12 gigabyte is just for a generalist. The other one is specifically tailored to gaming, the 16 gigabyte. And then, of course, we finally have the the uh, flagship here, Big Papa 4090. And that's starting at, uh, you know, a small amount of $1,600. Only two-thirds of the price of my entire computer. And then that's going to give you that future-proof 
future proof performance and that's going to be unheard of until a couple of years down the road where the 50 series comes out which is going to be five times this somehow using the latest and greatest um, AI wizardry. So ultimately, this is what we have on the table. These are premium cards. They're premium priced. And frankly, should you get them? Is it worth it? It really depends on your budget. It really depends on a hardcore of a gamer you are. It really depends on if you're a sponsored esports person or some guy that wastes a lot of time uh, playing way too many online games, trying to grind the leaderboards, maybe to create content or for your local streamers. What should you do? Should you get it? Should you not get it? It depends. If you're some sort of graphical artist, digital person, not using this for gaming, then it would certainly be a luxury purchase to buy the 40 series for those tasks because we have the half price 30 series available for you today that can handle all those tasks very efficiently. Maybe not 8K rendering at whatever, but for most video editing and most art stuff, you could settle with the 30 series. I recommend the 3080 actually, because that's probably floating around $700. Uh, Black Friday, there's definitely going to be sales on the 30 series as well as they're trying to clear our inventory. So keep that in mind. And then of course, uh, the 40 series is going to be for the latest and greatest gaming if you want to flex on everybody. Uh, just word to the wise for the flexors. It is really hard to carry around your computer, especially if it's not a mini or, or small tower, to really flex on your friends and family with this kind of thing. It's it's You can have a super colorful computer and people will be impressed by that alone. Uh, that's really the only flex you're going to have. Uh, people are not going to really be too in impressed that you have a 4090 especially if you have a low profile build and you would have to really crank up a game and show it off to really show that stuff off so if you're buying this to flex bad idea i would buy this because if you're an enthusiast or someone who's really wants to be ahead of the game wants to be on top of things wants to have that 8k 4k uh triple a gaming experience or maybe wants to mess around with the ai technology the software they have the software enhancements they have uh, and you have that money, you know, $1,600 ready to go, ready to just, you know, use it. It's it's really not a big deal for you to get your hands on this kind of power and be uh, future resistant for whatever software comes ahead that's going to be demanding and taxing. So should you get this series, it really depends on all of those things. Me personally, I'm going to stick it out with my 3080 Ti because I'm really just making videos at this point. I'm not doing too much hardcore gaming these days. I'm going to make more videos on this subject as they release more information. Until then, stay tuned, subscribe, send me a like, and peace.